And we thought it would be like a scoring and rebounding nightmare for the Bucks, and it ended up not being the case this past Saturday night when they play against Memphis Grizzlies. Um, it's like it was like a low scoring from like each of them, but then again, it was like times that they did took the lead. But the Bucks like came right back and took the lead right back at them. Um, they they did do a good job on holding Marcus All in the first half because he didn't score much until the second half. He ended up with 18 points, six assists, and five rebounds. And we would have thought he would have got more rebounds than that, but it didn't happen. Uh, Chandler Parsons. I guess they put him as the, you know, on the um on the game they put list him as the power forward for the game, but it was Jermichael Green was put is put in the power forward position, but I don't know how they mixed that up, but but Chandler Parsons with 12 points, um, two of six from three points and four rebounds. And Mike Conley with 15 points, 3 of 10 from the field, 1 of 6, 3 point line, with 5 of, five rebounds and 3 assists, and probably not that good assist numbers as we would have thought from him. And Zach Reynolds from off the bench with uh, 12 points and 7 rebounds, so Vince Carter did good too, um, with 17.711 from shooting. Because he had been, you know, as you can tell from 7-Eleven from shooting, he was hitting most of his shots. And you thought that was going to be like a, he was going to be a serious, serious nightmare for the Bucks, but that ended up like not being the case as the Bucks did on Wednesday's game. With Giannis with 27 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 steals and 4 box blocks. So another good game from him, and did lead the team with that scoring. Um, 16 points from um, Javari Parker, although 5 or 16 from shooting, but 6 to 8 from the free throw line. So he's getting to the line, and Giannis was getting into the um, free throw line as well. So that could be one of the problems that Memphis I have for, you know, kind of contain the Bucks from like scoring. And the bench did pretty good too, with with Malcolm Brogdon with 12 points and. I think it was three rebounds or two since I could be mistaken, but let me see. Oh, uh, one rebound, two assists. And Michael Bisley, who was just a nightmare for them, 19.68 is shooting, um, 6 to 7 from the three throw line. Your best friend or your partner, about four or your rebounds and just four rebounds. So with him and Malcolm Broaden did good on the bench. Greg Monroe, um, he did okay with seven points and and seven rebounds. So he he did okay. Let's see, oh, he didn't get blocked from this game, but the bench did do decent, but you thought they would have, you know, done a little bit better, but that just wasn't the case. And they changed the starting lineup, too. They have Henson start over Miles Plumlee, which seems like it was more, a little bit more effective than what they did had start with Miles Plumlee. Because John Henson, we had like eight points and seven rebounds and one block. So, because we know John Henson is more of a defensive guy than anything. 
and can do some like low post scoring. So it just Miles Plumby just really got to find himself. Although it's still early in the season, but hopefully when the time comes, Miles Plumby can be that on scoring threat. But right now they're gonna use John Henson in the starting lineup for the time being, in which I do think it is a smart move for them to do it, especially for like defensive purpose. Well, which is a good idea, which Javari Parker, not saying that his defense is coming along, but it's not there as of yet. But it's coming along, so we just got to wait and see, especially they got um, Atlanta Hawks that they're going to fix um, this Wednesday. So it will be interesting to see how... They're going to deal with the dynamic duo of Paul Millsap and Dwight Howard, two um, rebounding machines, and both can, like, low post score and things like that as well. Kyle Korver, a good three point shooter. So, this will be interesting to see what the Bucks going to do against the Hawks this Wednesday. So, just going to have to wait and see.